Well, well, well. Hey. It's easy when you know how. Ah, welcome, <laughs> welcome back, Vinny Moore on guitar. Wow, Vinny. Right, that's great pretty, to be here. Yeah. Pretty hot. Wow. <laughs> It's not on fire yet. I thought it was on fire. The guitar's computer program to do that. Here, you want to give it a shot? <laughs> no, I don't. You can do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> can we just um, touch upon a few Chords. little tips for the uh, for the young viewers out there thinking of playing guitar? Okay. Can you show us some of the basic things they should really learn? The basic things, or like a chromatic scale? You think? Chromatic. Yeah. That's chromatic scale. That's that the that easiest I thing to play. Just yeah. every fret. <laughs> Ooh, that's yeah. chromatic. What there about we, a little trick then? The um, circle of fifth. That's probably pretty Oof. good to learn. Okay, the Technical chords. Bass. Yeah, that that involves chords, and it's just a chord progression that you would start. If you were playing in the key of E minor, you could play an E minor chord. Yeah. Next chord would be A, and then D, and G, and then C, and then F sharp, and then B. Yeah, that's how I use it. Pay attention. Guitar well, lesson, missed that, didn't you? <laughs> so, would you? Using a chromatic scale and the, the things you've just shown us, can you just do a little run, put them two things together and see if there's anything could come out? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> put me on the spot. I, I'll try. How about, how about if we talk about arpeggios and I'll play a bunch yeah, of things with triads idea. that you mentioned earlier? Okay, then. He Here was talking about playing triads where you play notes from right from chords. <laughs> you can play arpeggios like that. So that's something that can be real helpful. You can take the, take Could the you notes just do right that arpeggio a little bit slow because I blinked? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a G chord right here. Yeah. You've got to play every note in that G chord. Right. And you can move it in different oh. positions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll let you give it a shot. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> um, what about um, the different styles, jazz and classical? A bit of jazz. Let's try a bit of jazz. A bit of jazz. Show, show us how to play a little bit of jazz. A little a bit of jazz. A few chords and a few. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of improvisioning. I'm not a jazz player. I can just fake it a little bit. <laughs> Classical. Did you do any classical at all? Uh, I don't play much classical guitar. I'm mm -hmm. inspired by classical music, but I don't really don't play, play the finger style type of acoustic guitar. I, it shows up in my lead lines. So, when you're improvising like you did when we first came back in all over the guitar, how would somebody learn all the notes like that? Is there a trick to it, technique to it? Well, you find a good teacher, yeah. and then you just learn scales in every position. So you learn a scale right here. Yeah. <laughs> Learn the same scale up higher on the neck, and pretty soon you've got scales all the way oh, yeah. up the neck in yeah. one key. And so you right. know it. You can go anywhere on the neck and play in a particular key. Isn't, isn't there certain things where um, you could start off down here and carry on going all the way, all the way up? Sure, you can do like triplet exercises where you go stuff like that. Could you slow that one down? Okay. Could we have that in slow motion? <laughs> <laughs> it's just triplets. So you start at the age of uh, 12? 12 years old. So you old. would advise the viewers And I still can't start. play. <laughs> <laughs> and when can we see you in Europe and playing this incredible guitar work? Okay, I'm not sure yet when the date's going to be, but I can't wait to get over there and, and play. And yeah. you have got a band Hello. together. Hello? Yes. No, Vinny's not available at the moment, thank you. No, we're having some lessons. Be, be right back. Okay. <laughs> that was just Europe straight away. The minute you mentioned Europe, it was on the phone. Right, <laughs> yeah. trying to get me to book dates over there already. Yeah, you already. must be on the air live. That's it. Once you call on MTV's Metal Hammer, you get booked straight away. I'm sure he won't be long before you play in Europe. All right. Any more simple techniques we could just show the viewers? Anything else? You have anything Pretty in easy? mind? Mm. No, just show them. Have you anything things. in mind? Have I anything in mind? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what else can I do? I could show you some pivoting notes where you just do things like this. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. We're just starting on this note right here in E. Yeah. And we're going. Just rolling off, just rolling Roll off, off that E. Rolling off that E note. Yeah. Right, we've got to wind up, Vinny. 
thanks for having us on the right. show. <laughs> having us on your show. Yeah, great right. lessons. You're on my show. Thanks, yeah. thanks for the lesson. Nice to have you guys here. I'll be right. back in a few weeks and uh, see how I've got on with those tuition. <laughs> now, right. Vinny, as we said, is looking for a vocalist. I'm sure you'll be writing in straight away to MTV's Metal Hammer. Um, so we'll leave you with a like a video. Let's hear some Michael Schenker. Oh, yeah. oh you're jam with Mitch. Mitch Perry. Yeah. Michael Schenker. Yeah. Michael Schenker. Cheers, Thanks for Vinny.